Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you about four IV loops. Now, four IV loops are kind of like four I loops, but I guess a little more complicated. Now, that being said, of course, this um, tutorial is going to be a little bit more advanced, so, you know, just a little warning. But four IV loops are pretty much very essential if you're making, like, um, any game in general, like, for example, uh, Hide and Seek Extreme, you know how, um, after the intermission is over or whatever, um, all the players get teleported to the, uh, start, well, yeah, they use a 4IV loop in that, or let's say they want to make a bunch of certain things inside something, I guess, move somewhere, alright, then you would need a 4IV loop for that as well. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to use it. <laughs> now, let's, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually put a couple parts in here. Um, if you were wondering how I duplicated it, I pressed, I did Control D. But I'm just going to quickly name these parts one. Oh, sorry. Part one, part two, and part three. There's a bunch of ways you can <laughs> name them. But yeah, these are three parts, all right, in the uh, in the game. Part one, part two, part three. You know, what? I'm just gonna leave them like this. But yeah, there's part one, there's part two, and there's part three. All right. Now let's say f um, you want to reference these three parts, okay? And I would say it would be very counterproductive. I guess in a way, if you just did game dot workspace dot part one, game dot workspace dot part two, game dot workspace dot part three. No, that's going to take too much time, and plus there's an easier way to do that. Now, let's say you had like a like part one to like part ten, okay? Once again, it would be super counterproductive to just go game dot workspace dot part one and then part two and then part three all the way to part ten. So that is why we have four I loops. So I'm just going to put a script in here, and let's just get started. Now, the four I loops, sorry, the four IV loop kind of uh, looks a little something like this. Now, of course, do not worry, I will cover every single thing in here, okay? Oh, sorry. Uh... I'm terribly sorry. Ah, uh, what do we do? Sorry. Okay, sorry. I am, yeah. <laughs> but anyways... The reason um, I'm just going to go through what I just did right here. Do do not worry. I'll try to explain everything as well as I can. Now, what I did here was basically get all the children of workspace. Okay, this is just a variable, so you don't really have to worry about that. But this part right here, get children. Now, I'm not sure if I did a, a tutorial on this or not. I've made quite a quite a few. So, <laughs> but yeah, colon get children basically is since I'm referencing workspace here then that means I'm going to get everything inside workspace, okay? So, get children is basically going to make a table, right? If you don't know what a table is, it's something like this. And then it's going to go like, game.workspace.camera, you know, game.workspace.script, you know, things like that. Now, of course, this is going to be a table that goes from top to bottom. So technically, this is going to be game dot camera, game dot terrain, game dot script. You know, all the way down to well, part three right now because it's at the bottom. Now, that's basically what get children does, and what four IV in pairs does is basically saying that we are going to look through each, sorry, each part of the table, or in other words, we are going to look through every single. Uh, Thing inside workspace one by one so I'm just going to put workspace one like that all right so you, if you saw the 4i tutorial you know that I is basically the time oh sorry the number 
uh, rounds it's on, and V is basically whatever that thing is currently on. So let's say workspace one is on its first round. I would be equal to one, and V would be equal to camera because it's at it's the top. It's the first one. Then let's say it goes around another time. I is equal to two this time, and V is equal to terrain because terrain is second. Then of course it goes on and on and on. The in pairs workspace one is basically uh, initiating it per se, because in sorry, the reason why I had to put this in a variable because was because you know I just want to make it simpler. You ca you can of course put this inside workspace one. It, it doesn't really matter. Then of course inside we're just going to create a basic if script. So I'm just going to say if um, v colon is a part then print v dot name is a part now what i did here is basically saying if the thing that we're referencing right now okay so let's say v was on part one right now okay if part one is a part all right so that's what this is is just saying if it is something then print whatever that thing's name is. So in this case, let's say part one. It's gonna just gonna say it's gonna print part one is a part. And if we go inside, it's, um, sorry, if we go play the game right here, you can see right there, oh, right there. It says base plate is a part. Part one is a part. Part two is a part. Part three is a part. Now notice how it goes from top to bottom, just like, sorry, just like I mentioned. You know, base plate is first, and then part one, part two, part three, etc., etc. Now, this is a very basic um, example, but please notice how you know things like camera or terrain or script did not get printed here, and that is, and that is because we had this is a thing inside. Now, let's say you want to get a bit more complicated. You could say you could print that it's a part and also change its color. So you could go like v dot brick color you go to brick color dot new I don't know really red right now we're just saying it's going to print whatever that is is a part so basically this and it's also going to change whatever parts were mentioned here into into red and if we run the game right here you can see that everything is red oh my eyes but you can kind of see what we did there and I hope that made sense. Now, of course, you can you can do much more complicated things than this. You could even add other four I loops in here. It really isn't limited to that. So, of course, yeah. I hope this helped you in some way. Have fun scripting. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.